Mysteries. They are found everywhere. Some are just fun, some are extremely serious, and others are unintelligibly cryptic. Most of the world's puzzles go unnoticed and, subsequently, unsolved. But there are a select few dedicated to archiving and decoding these enigmas, the most prominent of which are YouTubers, such as Nexpo, Rainbot, and Nightmind. It's a very complex subject to cover, and creators such as these have spent years honing their craft to get to where they are today. But sometimes, a new YouTuber will seemingly appear out of thin air and create high-quality content documenting and decrypting internet mysteries as if they're a veteran. In this video, we'll discuss one such creator, Enter Chillfield. Chill Fuel is a YouTuber dedicated to producing chill-inducing videos covering mysteries from the internet and beyond. At the time of this video's release, he has just around 80,000 subscribers, but as previously mentioned, his channel is relatively new, with his first video having been uploaded on December 26th of 2020. In addition to this, Chill Fuel has only actually produced a few videos. These statistics may seem perplexing to say the least, but digging just a little deeper will reveal the reason behind Shilfuel's swift success. To start our excavation, let's take a look at the overall layout of his channel. Immediately you'll notice a very consistent style. A dark aesthetic is evident. Everything matches together nicely in a very professional manner. This professional branding was likely a key factor to the channel's growth. A good first impression is vital, and having consistent branding throughout your channel even if you only have a few videos, is a great way to make a good first impression with your audience. But having a channel that looks nice and polished isn't enough. The content you produce has to be of high quality as well. Let's take a look at one of Chill Fuel's videos. Chill Fuel is a prime example of quality over quantity. Each video is delicately crafted with superb editing and a distinct style that matches the rest of the channel's aesthetic. They're dark visually, but not necessarily tonally. A great example of this is his video, The Hunt for the $200,000 Cube, Perplex City. Right as the video begins, we see another clear example of consistent branding, a black and white title card that plays at the beginning of all his videos. As you can see, this theme of black and white continues throughout the video, creating a visually dark aesthetic. Chillfield's editing style is also very distinct. It's reminiscent of YouTuber Lemino's editing style but more minimalistic, giving it its own unique flair. So part of the reason for Chill Fuel's success on YouTube is the overall quality of his channel. But quality alone simply isn't enough to have reached the levels Chill Fuel has so quickly. There's another crucial factor involved. Chill Fuel had help. Roughly a month after the release of Chill Fuel's first video, something interesting happened. A YouTube channel known as Disrupt left this comment on his video. Hey, great video. Do you have an email I can contact you at? Disrupt is a YouTube channel with over a million subscribers that produces high quality video essays and occasional fictional narratives. They produce extremely popular content with videos frequently ranging from 100,000 to over a million views. So to say a channel like Disrupt reaching out to Chill Fuel was a big deal would be an understatement. After Disrupt reached out to Chill Fuel, they collaborated, and Chill Fuel created a video to be featured on Disrupt's channel, Disturbing Sounds in Cuba. This video received over half a million views, and resulted in Chill Fuel's subscriber count growing at an extraordinary rate. So far, we've uncovered an abundance of information about this channel. But now it's time for a much more in-depth insight. It's time for an interview. So my first question is, you know, uh, your channel seemed to pop out of nowhere. W were there any inspirations you had to initially start your YouTube channel? Um, yeah, definitely. I mean, I've been doing YouTube for a little while now. This is not my first channel. Um, but uh, there was definitely a couple other YouTubers that I looked at and they made me really want to create content that was similar to them. 
Let Me Know was a huge uh, inspiration for me. He definitely got me started into looking into the same type of content that he was making and just the way that he was able to portray certain topics was super interesting to me. And so I always really wanted to be able to make something that that could like be interesting like that. It could really get people going. And, and so he was a huge inspiration for me. Also, um, barely social, barely sociable. Um, his Silk Road video was amazing. And watching that, it was a, it was a video that I was able to show to my entire family. And I was like, that would be so cool to be able to have this, uh, YouTube channel where you can appeal to this large audience and explain a topic that some people know so little about and, um, really, bring them into this new world and I'm not there yet in any way. Um, but those guys were huge inspirations for me. Right. And you know, th those are all great channels with really high quality content. Uh, and another thing that, you know, really stands out with those channels is they t tend to have a very unique style, each of them. Mm -hmm. And, and your channel also has a very uh, consistent style across your videos. You know, the thumbnails just you know you're, you have your branding under control yeah 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 so how did you come up with that style um so i really wanted to make a, a style of video like my initial thought was that i really wanted to, to be dark themed because my videos i think um and just like the content that i produce i think it kind of goes together with nighttime being dark and so i wanted to make something that people can can view at night and i i used to have this issue where the videos would always be too bright whenever i was watching it late at night and so i was like maybe i can make something where the entire video is essentially dark themed yeah and so that was the basis of it and then in terms of the style and the animation it kind of um was going as i learned i mean the first video that i made i had very little experience with uh after effects i had been using premiere pro for a while but I edit most of my videos in After Effects, the bulk of um, the content within them. And so when I first started off, uh, I didn't really have too much of a style and I just knew I wanted it to be dark themed and I just kind of added it from there, taking inspiration from, of course, let me know. <laughs> yeah, right, right. Uh, so, you know, going back to the beginning of your channel, did you expect your first video to do so well? Um, yeah, not at all. And it honestly, it didn't for a while either. Uh, when I first uploaded the video, um, it obviously had no traction at all. When you have a new new channel, zero subscribers, you're not going to have any real... The video's not going to get pushed to YouTube at all, right. and so it didn't. And I sent it in the um, unfavorable semicircle Discord, and those guys gave me some feedback on it, but that was really all that I uh, got in terms of viewers for it. I even went out of my way to um, purchase YouTube advertising on that first video, and that got it up to around 9,000 views, mm. but it really didn't take off um, till much while longer. But no, I was not expecting it at all. I was just thinking I'll put together this first video and um, we'll see what happens. Yeah, and obvious. I, I assume that was that was a pretty cool uh, thing to have. You know, your first video. You know, albeit given time, uh, to eventually reach the level that it has. Um, yeah, I, definitely. It's at 280,000 views right now, which is, you know, very impressive for your first video. Thank you. Yeah, no, it was, um, it was, I was definitely shocked, um, that it has gotten to that point. I look back at it now and it's, um, even though I, at the time I really thought that I was putting a lot of time and effort into it, it seems so much different than, uh, the one I'm creating just four months afterwards. It's really interesting to already look back on it, but right. yeah, it was, um, I was really shocked by the, by the audience it was able to grab. Yeah. And, you know, you, you've made a few videos since then, and your channel has just continued to grow. Uh, but one of the things that has undoubtedly helped your channel uh, to, you know, grow and reach the levels that it is at currently uh, was your collaboration with Disrupt, uh, which was really interesting mm -hmm. to see. So what was your reaction to that? Yeah, that was that was really crazy. Uh, I remember the, the night that I got the comment. Uh, I don't really get notifications for comments before, except for some reason I had gotten notification for this particular one so i was a little confused but i took a look at it and um and i could see why i got the notification why youtube decided to send me it and uh it was uh from disrupt and i was like i don't remember exactly what he asked but i think he uh was looking for an email uh to contact me with and i, I me my immediate thought was that this is something's up here like this isn't his actual channel uh that wouldn't make any sense i had just watched um he, I had seen a decent amount of his videos, and so it was really shocking to, to, to 
to get that. And so I checked it out. I clicked on it and it turned out to be his actual channel. Um, so I was really shocked. I, I sent him an email back. Um, I reached out to him um, through his email that I found on a website. And I also responded with my email. And um, after a little while, he eventually reached out to me. And yeah, if it wasn't for him, my channel would definitely not be where it is. That's for sure. Right. And, and I'm sure that was a cool experience. And, you know, that was a very important project for your channel's eventual development. Uh, do you have any mm -hmm. other projects like that or or uh, in that you know realm of things that you have planned for the near future? Um, I have planned a, um, a couple of up and coming videos with YouTubers um, with some uh, I don't I'm not gonna give away too much but I do have uh, plans to work with uh, some some YouTubers including Disrupt um, and some other guys. Cool. Cool. That's that's really cool to hear. Well, what plans personally uh, for the future of your channel? Um. Well, uh, at this point, I don't want to expect too much from the channel itself. I I really like producing the content that I that I make. I'm really happy with where it's at. I'm really shocked with how well it's done. Um. But I don't have any serious plans for it. I'm just creating the content that I really like, and if it does well, then that's 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 great but if it doesn't then hey i really like uh producing it and the feedback that i'm able to get from everybody is really what makes me keep wanting to make the content getting the the positive comments and the feedback from everybody is really what's keeping me um wanting to make it but it's uh it's just i just want to create uh content based around these interesting mysteries that i kind of get interested in and then i want to share these mysteries with other with other people so yeah sound sounds good uh, well, thank you for your time. Those are all the questions I have for now. Of course. Uh, and again, you know, thank you uh, for being a part of this interview. And uh, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> I'll, hopefully, right, well, I'll go on. when I edit this, I'll tie it together. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and thus concluded my interview with Chill Fuel. There's a lot to learn from his work. So if you're looking to become a YouTuber yourself, I hope you've taken notes. Thank you for watching this edition of A Critical Analysis, and hopefully, I'll see you next time.